Now I want to take you back to 1792 to a black woman who had been a slave, an enslaved woman, separated from her mother at age six and held by a master uh, who never recognized her giftedness. She kept trying to prevail on him to let her go and finally uh, with money that she had earned on the side and the help of a white woman, Isabel Graham, uh, Catherine Ferguson bought her freedom, paid Graham back over time, and uh, set up her own little space and continued to work her whole life. Catherine is a true sister to all of us. Catherine realized that little children of the poor were working six day weeks, 12 hours a day. No school for these children at all. How would they ever improve their lot in life? Answer, they wouldn't. That's how we make sure there are more poor people every year. Um, Catherine said, nothing doing. The only day children are free is Sunday. So she said, I'm going to raise the money. She had a big idea. Poor children should work. OK, they had to work. But poor children should be taught to read so that eventually they could be apprenticed to a job that would move them out of that class of people working that way and into a different lifestyle. So Catherine took up her after work time baking wedding cakes, which she was spectacular at, sold them, and every week she collected a kitty until she started a school on Sunday. Now, I know this is going to shock some of you, it was not a Sunday school the way we understand it, where only religion was taught. This was a school to teach children to read. Catherine's money bought books and paid people in the community who could read to come in and tutor. Catherine had a radical idea. She thought it would be fine, this is the part that will shock you, if black and white poor children learned to read in the same place. How's that for a radical person? She brought them together, and in her own digs, there was the first Sunday school. Well, of course, these kids did so well in the first eight to ten years that this organization was up and running that a bunch of the Methodist churches decided they would start a Sunday school and that the people in the parish would contribute. And that idea spread all through the city of New York and all through the, the states, that poor children should have a chance to get educated. So the idea of open education, particularly for the poor, is an idea given to all of us by this brilliant black woman who lived to be 84, raised 41 foster children, half black, or half of them were black and half were white. She was a woman of the 21st century. Most of you, and I, have never heard her, her name. That's crazy. She holds the same ideas that we are holding on high today. And there she was with no resources, a very difficult childhood, and a very hard time getting free to do what she believed God was calling her to do. Women started entrepreneurship, and Catherine is a perfect example. And I